It's a chilly December morning with this group of young volunteers hard at work. They're sprucing up this townhouse and decorating for Christmas. The home belongs to Tony Kennedy and his wife Sylvia. I really appreciate it. Great. I really do. Tony, a 15-year veteran of the Army and the Marines, fought in the war in Iraq. He's not used to being on the receiving end of service, but he's getting used to it. This volunteer project is called Decorate a Vet. Yeah, Jeff Jones, nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Jeff Jones, a landscaping business owner, started the effort three years ago. His motivation came from his father and grandfather's military service. His mission is simple beautify the outside of a veteran's home. So we do everything from cleaning uh, the yards, uh, simple things like uh, leaf blowing and mulching, to installing patios, walkways. Uh, even last year we did as much as uh, replacing windows and doors and gutters and roofs. Uh, we probably did a house last year, it may have been uh, about eighty or ninety thousand dollars worth of work. Uh, the house behind us today is just a simple decorating. Um, so it really ranges from simple leaf cleanup to a full-blown yard renovation. A lot happens behind the scenes too, like fundraising. Home Depot donated $2,000 worth of Christmas decorations and organizing volunteers like the Shark Tank swim team. We want to decorate it with pride, neatly, slowly, and carefully. Deal? High five. Yeah. Oh, those dirty hands. <laughs> okay, make sure to wipe your feet, take your shoes off. Jones says his experience on the mission field helps him with all of that. And it actually gave me a leg up on how to do it, you know, the sort of the sort of how to find people, how to select people, uh, how to organize people and uh, find donations and volunteers and it definitely, uh, mission work definitely was a step in to doing this. Decorative Vet dresses up six to eight homes each Christmas. Yeah, you guys did a great job on that. Tony Kennedy's wife saw a local news story and submitted her husband's name, hoping to lift his spirit. I just thought, you know, maybe if I could bring some uh, holiday cheer to my husband, you know, this Christmas season, I, I wanted that opportunity. The volunteers cleaned up the yard, made wreaths, hung lights, and decorated two Christmas treats, one outside and one inside. These kids we're moving with the, with like the, the precision of like a, of a military unit in this place. I was really impressed by that. I was like, wow. Tony's not working right now, and so I, and that was pretty much the reason why I contacted the organization. But I have to say, this has just been. I just feel so blessed um, that people are so giving of their time. Mm -hmm. The fact that you know, like these young kids would come out here and like, and like do something like this for me on a Saturday, I was like really, you know, I was really impressed. Uh, it feels really. Uh, it was a, I told my wife it's probably one of the one of the best Christmas presents I've ever gotten in my life. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington.